Chamber from Fredericton Silverwood. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's a pleasure to rise in the House today to welcome some guests from the Duke of Edinburgh's award. And Mr. Speaker, members of the House may be familiar with the Duke of Edinburgh's award, but as we know, it's, a, it's an award granted to young people in the province of New Brunswick and indeed throughout the Commonwealth and now it's spread internationally. And it's an award, uh, there are three different levels of the award, bronze, silver and gold. And uh, the award always comprises a number of key elements which include community service, the development of a skill, physical recreation and an adventurous journey. So we're joined here by a number of, of award winners and I ask them to stand as they're introduced. I'm going to begin with uh, a good friend of mine, Eleanor Rickspore, and I'd ask you to stand, Eleanor. Eleanor is a resident of Fredericton, and uh, she, her community service was leading children's Bible camp at church. Uh, her skill development was drawing through watercolor and acrylic. Uh, her physical recreation was biking, tennis, canoeing, and hiking. And she com completed an adventurous journey uh, hiking Turtle Mountain outside St. John. Thank you, Eleanor. As well, we're joined by Christy Stelling. Christy's community service was the under-13 volleyball team, working as the assistant coach there. Her skill development was canoe instruction on the lake and uh, yearbook technology. Uh, her physical recreation was volleyball, as you can probably tell by her impressive stature. And her adventurous journey was hiking in Mactaquack Provincial Park. Thank you for joining us, Christy. As well, we're joined by Emma Bradford. <coughs> Emma's community service was through the United Way as an impact community member. She's also engaged in the Hampton High School Student Council. <coughs> and the first Harvey Beavers as a junior volunteer leader. Her skill development was acting through Theatre New Brunswick Theatre School, and her physical recreation was basketball, cross-country running, and soccer. She completed an adventurous journey, which was a whitewater canoeing expedition. And finally, we're joined by the Vice President of the New Brunswick Duke of Edinburgh's Award, Mr. Keith Barr. Keith's been active in the award association and, and provides good leadership to the award here in New Brunswick. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in, in uh, welcoming our, our Duke of Edinburgh volunteer and their, the award winners.